Imagine a device so advanced that it could spy on a government official for seven years without any wires, batteries, or conventional electronics. This is the story of the Great Seal Bug, an ingenious Soviet listening device that remained undetected in the U.S. Embassy from 1945 to 1952. In 1945, Soviet schoolchildren presented a handcrafted wooden plaque of the Great Seal of the United States to the U.S. Ambassador in Moscow. But hidden inside this seemingly innocent gift was a highly sophisticated listening device, one unlike any conventional spy bug. Unlike traditional surveillance devices, the thing had no power source or wires. It consisted of a metal cavity with a thin diaphragm, a small vibrating membrane that acted as a microphone. Attached to this cavity was an antenna designed to interact with radio waves. According to FBI reports, the thing was a small copper cylinder weighing approximately 31 grams, measuring 24 millimeters in length and 19 millimeters in diameter. The interior was highly polished silver, enhancing signal reflection and efficiency. The thin metallic membrane at the open end acted as a microphone, moving in response to sound waves. Beneath the membrane was an adjustable mushroom-shaped disc, which played a crucial role in capacitive coupling. Its grooves were designed to reduce pneumatic damping, allowing precise responsiveness to sound waves. A threaded tuning post allowed for fine adjustments to optimize sensitivity and transmission. The bottom portion was secured with a split-fit brass cap, while a brass grill at the top held the thin membrane in place, ensuring sound waves could reach it. Extending from the device was a 22.8 centimeter long antenna, carefully tuned to resonate at ultra-high frequencies, around 1700 megahertz. But how did the thing transmit conversations? Unlike conventional radio transmitters, the thing didn't generate its own signals. Instead, it reflected external radio waves, embedding conversations into the returning signal. The Soviets activated the bug remotely by transmitting a high-frequency radio beam toward the U.S. Ambassador's office. This signal, likely in the ultra-high frequency range between 800 MHz and 1.5 GHz, was similar to the frequencies used in modern RFID systems. Here's what happened next. 1. Radio waves struck the thing's antenna, entering the metal cavity. 2. The diaphragm vibrated in response to speech, modulating the reflected radio waves. 3. The modified radio waves bounced back to the Soviet surveillance van, carrying the embedded conversation. 4. Soviet operatives used a high-sensitivity receiver to demodulate the signal, converting it back into sound. Since the thing had no internal power source or continuous emissions, traditional bug-sweeping equipment failed to detect it. It remained passive until Soviet operatives activated it remotely, a revolutionary approach to surveillance at the time. In 1952, a British radio operator scanning frequencies accidentally picked up conversations from a U.S. embassy. Alarmed American intelligence conducted a deep sweep and finally uncovered the thing inside the Great Seal plaque. Here is the clandestine listening device. Uh, you can see the, the antenna in the area, and it was right under the beak of the eagle. This revelation stunned the intelligence community, leading to the rapid development of advanced counter-surveillance technologies. The Great Seal Bug was more than just a spy device. It was a Cold War masterpiece. A bug that required no power, no wires, and no complex circuitry, just a carefully tuned resonant cavity, and a hidden Soviet transmitter. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Cold War spy technology, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more incredible stories of hidden technology and engineering marvels.